I don't know how much you know about our series or not, but you're getting ready to watch IMSA WeatherTech series here at Detroit. There's two classes today. There's the prototype cars, which look like the Nissan and of course the Acura next to us, the Penske Pits, and then you have the Acura GT cars and GTD, and that's what you have here today. Today's a 100 minute race. There'll be one pit stop. It's very difficult to pass here, very bumpy, very hard to do anything. So the trick to this race will be the pit stop. We have one stop. We're only gonna take about half a, half a fuel tank and then get right back out there. So that will be the race in there. About the cars, our lovely NSXs. These cars are based on production models built in Marysville, Ohio, okay? The frame, the engine, Probably 60% of the parts are dead off of the uh, assembly line. The, the most important thing is the motor. The motor's built in Anna, Ohio by uh, Honda employee, Acura employees and they go directly into our car with no modifications. The only thing we change is the tuning on them. I don't know the horsepower because they won't actually tell me, but I'm guessing it's 530 or 540 or something like that. The car gets about four miles to the gallon has an 18 an 18 gallon fuel tank. It's set up very similar to the street car, but a little bit different also. The street car is an aluminum body, hand formed in Marysville, Ohio. The race car is all carbon fiber, so you can kind of see some of the weave. There are a little bit of differences in the bodywork shape. This big hole here is not there in the street car, and some of the flares and some of the wings are all for downforce on the car. At this track, we go about 155 miles an hour. At Daytona, we go about 190 miles an hour. It just depends on where we're at. We get six sets of tires for the whole weekend. So from the time practice one comes through the race, six tires, that's it. So we spend those how we want. A set of tires is $2,500 per set. So I have 12 sets times 2,500 is my tire bill just for this race. If you think about that, when we do the Rolex 24 in Daytona, we got uh, 30 sets, so 60 sets. I could buy a small house right outside of here just for our entire bill. The car itself, in case you're wondering, all together sitting here is about $650,000, about 650. We have, we brought to the track today about 22 guys. 16 of those are full time. Uh, and that's how we pit the cars, work on the cars, that type of thing. As they sit here now, they're pretty much ready to go. Okay, so we're just waiting to go out on the grid. We're from Columbus, Ohio, so we're an hour, uh, hour south of Marysville where they're built, and uh, this is all we do for a living. So there's no other business, no trust fund for me. Everything happens because of these two, two babies here. Some interesting things just to note, you'll see one lug nut instead of five on five like the street car. So it's just one big socket. You'll also notice that the car's up in the air by itself. It says air jacks, so there's not a traditional not a traditional jack handle. Okay, you plug a wand in, the car jumps off the ground, and we do the tire change. The car weighs about 2,800 pounds. The gearbox is a racing style gearbox. It's six gears. It's a hand clutch system, so there's two pedals, brake and gas, cl hand clutch, and an up and down paddle. We have controls on the car, like traction control in forward and side. So we control how much the car slides around. We have ABS, and we also can control the mapping on the motor. So if we want full power, we can have full power. If we want to pull it back and save fuel, we can do that also. It's all a strategy thing. The car competes against Lexus, Lamborghini, Ferrari, Porsche, Aston Martin, BMW, and all the manufacturers are here. We're doing well. This car's uh, P2 in the championship, only five points out of the lead. It's podium uh, top three, two of the three races has not won yet. It was quickest this morning in the warm-up, so we're rubbing them. They're both very competitive. That car qualified third, so we're right there. It's a second year car. Uh, we're working on an evolution of this car for next year also. The body work will change a little bit, but we continue to try to improve it all the time. It's a little difficult to watch our races, but if you keep this in mind, right here has a number panel on all the cars. It will tell you exactly what position we are in at any point. Whatever you see, it just that's what matters. Prototypes will win, they'll win overall, and then we'll try to try to win our class. You see our livery, some people love it, some people hate it. What this is about, every year at a race called the Petit Le Mans Road Atlanta, we let our fans come onto the grid and sign the car. And last year I noticed someone did 
uh, graffiti on it with a sharpie and it was really good graffiti and I thought that's all pretty cool you know so I had a, a, a lady an artist in Atlanta came up with this concept I thought it was really cool and kind of far out uh, John Akeda wherever he's at said I like that too and of course Dave Merrick is also doing an incredible scheme for us uh, for the July 4th races that we're in it's all about being different being individuals and, uh, and you can see we carried it across to the tractor trailers and that type of thing.